Hey, it's Taylor. I'm coming to you from Cozy Corner for the first episode of Fort Friday. I'm here with special guest, Quincy Tad Cooper. Say hi. Oh, that was very good, good job. And we also have a few other friends with us today. Don't worry, we are practicing social distancing. How do I make it turn around? It doesn't turn around. Oh my gosh, I'm that person. I'm now the teacher that doesn't know how to work a camera, guys. It's happened, I'm officially an adult. This is Charles. He's real chill. This is Betty. And this is Magenta. Some of you might recognize her from Blue's Clues. Some of you might not. This is Cozy Corner, my little fort that I made. I have a lamp, I have a Bible, I have some coffee, and I have a fireplace. Let's get going. Today we're going to read from Matthew 28. It's about Easter. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as, snow, was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Do not be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come and see where his body was lying. And now, go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. The women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy and they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. And as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them, and they ran to him, grasped his feet, and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave for Galilee, and they will see me there. So during this time of quarantine and social distancing, where my friends are a dog and stuffed animals from my childhood, we might be feeling pretty frightened. We don't know what's going on. But just like the ladies who had no clue what was happening, they were told that Jesus, who they probably saw die, is now alive. They were also filled with great joy. During this Easter season, we can be filled with great joy because Jesus is alive and he's here to protect us. All right, let's pray it out. Dear Jesus, Thank you for this day, and thank you for everyone watching. I ask that you would keep us all safe and that you would keep us all content during this time, that we would be able to draw closer to our families and that we would be able to get all of the work that we need to done and that we would be able to focus on what we need to focus on, which is you. We love you, amen. Quincy. Did you have an idea? Quincy has an idea. He thinks that it would be super fun if we did something together. So, hi. He thinks, and he told me this, he really did. He thinks that we should make sidewalk paint. I think we should. I found a recipe on Pinterest. It has cornstarch, water, and food coloring. And then you mix it all up and you paint with it. Let's try it. For your paint, you need two tablespoons of cornstarch to every four tablespoons of water. You also need a paintbrush and probably some water to rinse out your brush so that your colors stay nice. Happy Easter!